Hi, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to do surface modeling in Katia V5. We are going to model a spiral lamp from scratch. Let's go to Generative Shape Design Workbench in Katia V5. Click Start, Shape, Generative Shape Design. Let's name our design Spiral Lamp. Enable Hybrid Design as well as create a geometrical set. What we are going to do first is create a circle with circle type center and radius the center being our origin and the support being our xy plane the radius i'll give it around 50 millimeters next we are going to create two points on this circle click on the little arrow on the point icon and then click on points and planes repetition make sure there are two instances and click on the circle after that click ok two axes should be present on your circle this axis indicates points that we have just created next we are going to do a helix click on the small arrow of the spline icon and then click on helix the starting point should be point 2 in which you can find from our tree the axis is our z axis the pitch indicates the length in between one helix to the other and the height refers to the length of our overall height of the helix let's make our pitch 25 millimeters and our height to 50 millimeters next Create another helix. This time, the starting point is point 1. And again, the axis is the z axis. Pitch 25 millimeters and height 50 millimeters. The two helixes would look like this. We are going to connect these two helixes at the top. We will be using connect curve. You can find this by clicking on the small arrow of the circle icon and click on connect curve. The first curve would have helix 1. Click on this point and this point to connect the curves. As you can see, the curves are connected. What we want to do now is reverse the direction of one of the curves to make it look like an S shape from the top view. The next step is to create a point. Click on the point icon and define the point using coordinates x 15 millimeters z negative 15 millimeters we are going to do two points the other one with coordinate negative 15 millimeters for x and negative 15 millimeters for z now we are going to create a line for both of these points that goes downwards from these two points. So create a line type point 
to direction. Click on point 3 as your point and for the direction, right click on the selection box and click on Z component. Change the end point to 10 millimeters. The same goes for point 4. Again, we want this to go downwards from our points. Therefore, double click the lines and reverse its direction. Next, we are going to connect these two lines to the two helixes that we have made earlier. For the first curve, point 3 as our point and line 1 as our curve. Second curve would be point 1 as our point and helix 2 as our curve. Connect the other curve. Hide our circle and join the curves that we have made. This is what it should look like thus far. Next, we want to make a tube that goes along our curves. Click on the swept icon and click on the third icon of the profile type, the one that has the C shape. Change the subtype to center and radius. The center curve would be join 1 and the radius would be 4 millimeters. Click preview to preview what we have gotten so far and then click OK. Next, we are going to show our circle again and translate this circle to a lower height. Click on the translate icon and click circle 1 as our element. As for the direction, right click and then click on Z component. As for the distance, we'll put it as negative 25 millimeters. And then we are going to fill in this circle. So click on the fill icon and then click on the circle that we have just translated. After that, we are going to extrude our profile downwards. So click on the extrude icon. Profile is translate 1. Direction, right click it. And then click on the Z component. With dimension 25mm. And make sure you reverse the direction so that it goes downwards. As you can see from this view, we need to cut out these two circles over here. So click on the split icon, click on fill one as our element to cut, and for our cutting element, click on this circle and this circle as well. After that, click OK. You should find that your surface has now been split. Next, we are going to make a sphere. You can find the sphere by clicking on the small arrow of the extrude icon and click on sphere. Right click on the selection box of center and click on Create point. Click on the drop down menu of point type 
and click on circle sphere ellipse next click on this circle over here and then click ok make the sphere radius 50 millimeters our sphere axis is the absolute axis system parallel start angle is negative 90 degrees parallel end angle is 0 degrees and meridian start angle is negative 360 degrees after that click ok if you think that the radius of our lamp is too big we can easily change that we can change that by clicking on our first circle that we have drawn and change the radius from 50 millimeters to 25 millimeters also change the radius of our sphere to 25 millimeters as well next we are going to translate this circle to a lower height with distance of negative 45 millimeters next click on the point icon and click on the drop down menu for point type and select circle sphere ellipse and choose the circle that we have just translated hide our circle and make a new circle with a different radius change the circle size to diameter 25 millimeters with 0.6 as the center and xy plane as the support after that we are going to extrude this circle click on the extrude icon Profile Circle 2 Right click on the direction and select Z component Limit 1 should have 20 millimeters as its dimension and Limit 2 should have 12 millimeters as its dimension Next we are going to trim the surfaces that are on the side so click on the little arrow of the split icon and click on trim select these two surfaces and trim the needed areas you can see which one is trimmed by seeing which one has translucent surface is the one that is going to be trimmed off as you can see now our surface has no obstructions on the inside now just fill in the open contour basically now we have finished for surface modeling of the spiral lamp now we are going to create another helix um, for the screwing mechanism of the lamp and then we are going to solidify it so create another point on on this curve and just like before create another helix after that hide all the curves by going to tools hide all curves now join all these surfaces if this area pops up it is because you have not selected all of the surfaces so try to connect all of the surfaces again unhide helix 3 
and now let's move on to solidifying this surface head on to the part design workbench start mechanical design part design now we are going to thicken the surface right click on part body and click define in work object and then click on the thick surface icon change the first offset to 2 millimeters and object to offset to join two. make sure all the arrows point inwards after that hide all surfaces this is the solid that you have gotten thus far before we model the screwing mechanism let's do some cosmetic on this spiral lamp body first use the edge fillet to smoothen any sharp edges to make the screwing mechanism create a plane that is normal to the curve and select the helix as our curve select the end of the helix as our point sketch a circle on the plane that we have just made with a diameter of 3 millimeters and then coincide the center of the circle with the end of the helix lastly click on the rib icon this will create the screwing mechanism if you would like to you can add on some cosmetic appearance by changing the colors of the lamp right click on a feature and click on properties after which you can change the color and transparency of that feature thank you for watching this tutorial until next time leave a like subscribe